People often ask me, what's the number one thing I can do to change my life? And I think people are looking for some kind of silver bullet. You know, a morning shake they could drink, a book they can read, or some simple meditation practice that will magically make every problem go away. Well, I recently watched this interesting interview with James Altucher, and he mentioned the four things to do every day to be healthy, wealthy, and just feel good. And I want to share what my four things would be. Hey guys, Alex Hine, author of the book Master the Day. Now honestly, one of the things I don't talk about here, but I would add to the list of things to do daily, is to journal. I shot a video here on how journaling led to me having the best year of my life ever. And I've included the first link in the description is a free download for a journaling worksheet, as well as an email series, which will give you a lesson every three days on how I got started with journaling and how you can use it to change your life. So you can check that out, the first link in the description. So the first thing I would say is to do some kind of belief work. Now, I know this is surprising, but what I mean is do some kind of belief work that challenges your beliefs around reality. For me, you may know this already, but when I got into personal development, it wasn't for shits and giggles. It was really because I was so depressed with being single in my late teens. So the first personal development exercise I ever did and the first really limiting belief was... I'll never really have what I consider my dream girl. So when I say do belief work, it means challenge your limiting beliefs. That was a limiting belief. It was a number of years before I said, well, if I wanted to attract XYZ caliber of woman, and then you could do it as artificially as putting down a list of qualities and external traits, what kind of person would I have to become? How would I have to upgrade myself to attract that kind of woman? And sure enough, years later, I would attract many of those kinds of women because I did the inner work on myself. Another example of when I did this was in the last year or two, where I was already maxed out. I've been working 70 hours a week for like seven years, right? Before it was a full-time job while building my business, and then it's being in Chinese medicine school, doing my doctorate, while still running and growing my business and my company. And so I asked myself this very simple question last year, which was, if you could work half the hours, could you earn the same income? So I did a 100-day challenge of working half the hours. Sure enough, my business stayed the same. And then I said, can you work half the hours and double your income? Sure enough, I did that for six months. I worked less hours and doubled my business. So that blew my mind open about how hard I had to work and how long I had to work. And so when it comes to doing things daily, challenge the beliefs that you think are possible by doing a little lifestyle experiment. The second thing is to do activities and exercises and workouts, anything that puts you back in your body. I mean, this era, we live in the anxiety and depression epidemic, where some crazy percentage of the U.S. population has been on antidepressants in their life. It's a really sad number. And one thing that I've noticed not only me being a human, but also being a patient, and now seeing patients of my own, is that exercise and anything that puts you into your body is anchoring you into the more physical, the physical aspects of your life. That is such an antidote to the modern, anxious, depressed lifestyle we live. In my senior year of college, I was interested in this one particular girl that I've been on a trip with, and I asked her out to dinner, and she was like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll meet you at dinner, sure. And it was one of those cases where like 20 minutes before she flaked. And I was, I was just so naive. I was still a young guy, very inexperienced with dating. And I was like, cool. I was so excited. I just like got out of the shower, had my, my nice shirt on. Uh, and I got really bummed out by it. So instead, I went to the gym. It was like a Friday night. There was nobody there. It was like 8 o'clock. And I just put in like the hardest, most grinding workout because I was so freaking pissed. I was so angry. Like you could feel it coming off me. So if you couldn't see it in my face, you could feel it. And I did that for about an hour and a half, like way longer than I do workouts now. But guess what? After, I felt a lot better. 
And there's something interesting about exercise because exercise will move that stuckness, the stuck emotions. It'll move the, it'll help regulate the cortisol and the stress response in the body. And I find that modern people are so stagnant on so many levels. But if you can just incorporate something that moves circulation and blood flow, it's dramatic in terms of how it changes you on all levels, on all states. The third thing to have an incredible day, an incredible year, is to actually keep an intuition log. Now, I started this as an experiment over the last year or two. Now, you guys might have seen that manifesting video I shot where I experimented with myself. But I find that we tend to look outside for solutions to our problems. How do I stop being single? How do I stop dating crappy people? How do I save more money? How do I earn more money? How do I build a business? How do I find a life that's fulfilling and meaningful? And yet, so much of the time, we intuitively know what we need to do for ourselves, right? Like, we are our own best physician of life. So, when we take an honest self-inventory, we may know that, okay, maybe I earn a good income, but spending $100 each night of the weekend at the bar, I'm probably spending a lot of money there that that could be going to saving for my Paris trip. Or we know, I really want to have a healthy relationship but I keep getting myself in these weird gray area relationships where the other person doesn't really commit. That's the intuition. You don't need to read another relationship book, or maybe you do, maybe it will help, but follow the intuition first. I feel like this is what I need to do for my fitness. This is what I need to get in a good relationship. This is what I need to really save money. Start with your intuition first. But it's one of those things where the more you train yourself to listen to it, the more you're gonna hear it, because it's very subtle. So what I do is I actually keep a log on my phone of intuitions. It literally says intuitions. And I break it down by business, life, and the other goals that I'm working on. And then each day, I make sure I'm tracking one of those and following them. And the last thing is to structure as much gathering time as possible. So I'm in year three out of four of my doctorate in Chinese medicine. One thing we see a lot is that in Chinese medicine, we describe the force that you use to do things as the yang. You're using yang energy to do, to act, to play a video game, to go through your Instagram feed. And so modern people are overusing their yang. It's one of the reasons why we get sick, one of the reasons why there's so much cancer now, it's one of the reasons why there's so much fatigue, malaise, anxiety, depression. Just people just don't feel well internally. But life has been the least stressful, really, that we know for a large part of human history, and humans work less now than we did maybe 50 years ago. So what's going on? There's the yang forces, the doing, and there's the yin forces in Chinese medicine, which is the gathering. All the things that make you just like, you know, like on a winter night, you just went skiing, you get a cup of cocoa, you put a blanket on yourself, you watch a movie, and you just like, you just like melt, right? You're just like, "Mm, I'm in the womb. And you just fall asleep. Modern humans are lacking that yin gathering time more than any other time in history. In fact, there's one physician that I learned from, and he said that the two most important things for modern people are sleep and meditation. And he was referencing the same thing. The lack of time we spend gathering, doing very little, doing nothing, or just focusing on one thing. And we're using all our energy out here doing all this stuff. So that would be my four things to do every day if you want to be happy, healthy, wealthy, and I'm not going to say wise because screw you, Benjamin Franklin. But otherwise, those are the four things I would do. And of course, also throw in journaling. I've included the first link in the description. That'll get you a free journaling worksheet. But otherwise, I'll teach you in that e-course. So those series of emails will teach you exactly how I use journaling to reinvent my life. So you can check it out, the first link in the description. You can also check out my last two videos right there and right there.